Hello everybody, I'm here to do a video on my Watchmen figures. Um, uh, they're pretty cool. I got just the six main members. Um, now I'm gonna, if you guys want me to, I'm going to continue doing these minifigure collection videos. I'm going to try to do them weekly. I'm, I don't know if I will or not though. Um, yeah, so. I'm gonna try to do these more these collection team videos like Bat Family, Suicide Squad, Justice League, Avengers, um, my Spider First Team People. I don't really wanna call them. Um Yeah. I don't know why I'm turning my hand, but um something like that. So now I think the I don't know who I'm gonna do next. Um guys comment below who what team you want me to see do next and well, whichever one has the most I'll do it next and if no one says anything because that's happened in the past I'll just pick one which isn't as fun but whatever so I've talked for like a minute 22 seconds 23 now but anyways um I've talked for a while now and let's just show you guys everything. Oh, by the way, this is an order of my favorite to least favorite member of the Watchmen people that I made. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. Um. Yeah, so let's get started. Now, I decided to change things a bit. Kind of. Most people will do this start their favorite. Actually, for like top ten videos, um, most people start their least favorite. But sometimes it's sort of their favorite. I don't know. Whatever, I'm start with my least favorite. Um, I think I've, I've actually shown these guys a lot on my old channel. James Brick Hero. Um, check, check out his channel. Slash my channel, whatever. Check out ja that channel. It's really cool. Um, I don't think I've ever done a full video on them. In this video. Um, some of these, a lot of these are updated since the last time I turned to you. Whatever. Let me just get into this. Okay, so... He's a lot different looking. All of him is new, except his weapons. So, um... Now, the idea for the gloves to be different colors, because in the comic and movie, he has, like, epaulids. One's blue and one's red. Um... And then he just has black sleeves. Somebody... Uh, I do not know who it was, cannot remember their name or anything. If you know who it was, or if you remember, comment below. Um, they gave a comedian a sleeveless arms. One glove was blue and one was red. Um, I found a dark blue and then a dark red, so I just did this. But he had, like, regular blue and regular red. Um... And then I just, well, the body's technically the same. It's just this old one he had just turned around um, to show the back of it. I kind of think that this is better for him. So that way he's showing less red. Because it looks like he has like, more red than the blue, which he had an even amount. Um, so I turned it around. I guess in the back he has a red, but whatever. We're not looking at the back. Um, and then I gave him this hair with an S curl on it, the Superman hair, um, the guy who I got the arm hand idea for might have done that, I don't remember, but I think it works for better for him, and then the sunglasses and goatee idea, I've used a few times before, but normally it's just in the Iron Man head, but I did this kind of, sort of a slight nod to, uh, when he has his, uh, ski mask on, or not ski mask. Yeah, ski mask. Like the circle with like the eye hole and the mouth hole. He's got that quite a bit. And plus I just think this looks a lot cooler. And then he has these legs that are on a magneto. Same gun. Uh ADU gun, black with a hand, and then a blaster rifle, so really like this guy. Um oh yeah, and by the way the least favorite to favorite thing is on who they are, not how they are looked. Because if it was how they look, my leads would be Silk Spectre. 
actually Night Owl probably. Or one of those, because my Night Owl isn't too accurate. Um, my next least favorite, or next, he's my fifth. I don't know, um, him and Comedian might be switched around. Because they're both pretty sinister. Actually, yeah, they're probably switched around. I don't know. I just really like his outfit, so I guess he got, like, a plus one or something. I don't know. Um, it's, uh, uh he's brand new, except his arms and legs. So, um, he did have a tannish, yellowish outfit in the comic. So he had the Gene Ocean body with a dark tan hip. I think that to be a bit more like the movie. I know the movie has like a dark gray, like a okay. They found a dark gray thing around me, but um, dark gray, you know. Um, so which was like the alien? Oh, not alien. Well, they are alien. Um, the Chitari General's body, but that's I don't know where that is. Um, so I did this, and then in the movie he has. Okay, um, he has a mask a lot. Not all the time, but a lot of the time, so I gave one, no, whoops. I gave one to him, oh yeah, and his hair's the same, so. Then, he, I gave him the purple cape from the Headless Horseman from Scooby-Doo, because I was short purple capes and gave him the leg tan masters that, was, this side was purple, this side was like dark red, like, this shade of red on his hand. And then I just had it like this. Which you still could kind of see some on the top. A little bit, but this is better. And then I gave him black gloves. Because in the movie he's gloved. And this, I made it more like the movie version. And then the hips also from the Chitari. If you didn't notice. Um, so, yeah. So my next one is Silk Spectre. Um, this is a lot like the, uh, comic book. No, this is, this is kind of like the, well, they're both. The movie got the costume down pretty good. And the only downside is her hair is, I think, too short. And then her head... I don't think works. It's, um... Marina Spelka said for Indiana Jones. Um, the camera's... Yeah. It's not a pretty sight to look at. So just be happy it's... Pretty, uh, actually, it is a good head for some. A lot of people, just not really for Silk Spectre. Um. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. And then this. At least this part. And then my Rorschach and Dr. Manhattan are based off of the Moosefigs' newest thing on Flickr. So go check that out after this. Uh, I believe this is the exact same thing, the yeah, outfit is, and then my Rorschach, and his are the exact same. Yeah, so there's Silk, Silk Spectre. Next is Dr. Manhattan, who is a combined version of the Electras, both of them. He has Ultimate's body and legs, regular blue arms instead of the translucent ones, Amazing Sweater and Two's head, and then the same hands from Ultimate. And then a black hip. So this is really accurate. I really like this. Um, this was the exact same as Moose Figs's, except he used um, nail polish remover to remove the little gray thing right there. I don't even know what that is. It wasn't in the movie. I don't think. But, um, yeah, so this looks really cool. Hope you like it. Or, yeah, I hope you like all these, actually. Um, yeah, so Dr. Manhattan, this is pretty accurate. I guess I could have also put him in a suit or something, but I did this. Or, like, a sleeveless black outfit I could have done, too. But I kind of prefer this. Okay, my second favorite person is Night Owl. It was, well, this is pretty accurate. Um, my only downside is the head. And then this is not at all his helmet. This is one supposed to be more like the comic book. Um, this is a pretty nice figure. 
Oh, we put the cave out of the way. See something better. Uh, and the body is legless. This is the Hobbit turned around, and this is actually really nice. It looks like a jacket, kind of with some gold fleece type thing, and then there's um the other side of it. But I really like this longer than I thought I would. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then his legs are the dark brown, which I think that's fine. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, so pretty cool in the new cut. Brown cave, like I showed you earlier. I'm gonna sit down there, whatever. I don't know. And last but not least, Rorschach. This guy looks really cool. I really like Rorschach. He's pretty neat. Um, he has the purple gloves and the purple legs, which is pretty cool. Then. Body's plokins and then the hips, a dark brown hip. With a nice little fedora. And then Arenas Falco's head turned around. Um, really cool. Um, uh, really has the little marking things. I don't know what they're called. That move around on his, uh, mask. Now, a good idea you can do if you're using this in a stop motion is edit it so all the little purpley things are black and then have it move around a little bit in each scene. Something you can do. Okay, so uh, I don't know everybody here, but, you know, whatever, I don't want to get everybody here. Okay, so, um, yeah, that was my video of my Watchmen minifigure collection. Tell me which one is your favorite and why. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and share for more. Oh okay. yeah, and like I said earlier in the video, what collection of heroes or villains, Marvel or DC, do you think we should do next? <laughs> I really hope you guys comment because you guys like never do. Not to be mean. Yeah. So, um, answer those questions. You don't have to answer all of them. At least answer what um, team should I do next. And if you guys don't answer or say anything, then I'll end up doing one next week. Or am I? All right, no, another question I could do. Should I do these every week or every other? And if nobody answers, I'm gonna do them every other. But this is a little longer than it should have been, I think, for six figures. Um, it's like actually that, that's not too bad. It's about two minutes per figure, so... It's alright. Yeah. Bye, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up, because I'm nice.